hi everyone, welcome to Chatterby. Today um, I'm going to share about my recent chase that I bought on two different occasions but uh, I just combined the video review together. So for the first one that I got earlier on in which um, this is the blue one, you can actually see that it's um, from MS and it's actually a necklace box so it's very obvious that it's something to wear like a, an accessory. So let's cut the chase and go on to what I've got. So this is what I've got. It's actually called the... It's called the Chain GM Chain V on Grey Game Necklace. It's actually 90cm long. And um, it's, I actually love this more than the Ferrando because um, for this particular one, it's only 90 cm and it's very very lightweight. It only retails at 980 Singapore dollars in our boutiques over here. So there are a lot of details that I think that is very very nice. Um, even though my friend actually said that it looks like a bicycle chain, I almost want to slap him for saying that. But there are a lot of nice details in which I will put on photos here that you can check out about this necklace. But you can see it's actually very very lightweight when I wear it on. It looks something like that, 90cm. I think it's just right for me as compared to my Ferrando which is 160cm. It's, it's really nice and for this part you can actually wear a different way. You can actually put this um, connection, this part. It's, if, it's, if it's slightly on a different level, it, it feels differently. It feels like a different style. Or you can even put it down like that and wear it in a more elegant way such as this like the Sharando style like this if you're wearing something more glamorous like a, a dress or something like that yeah so overall I, I prefer this necklace much more than the Ferrando because first of all the length suits me better second it's very very lightweight so I will always bring this whenever I travel overseas so I brought this um, together with me for two other trips that I've been on recently and it proven to be a great accessories companion. So that's all for this one. And I'm going to discuss about the other one that I believe everyone will be more interested about which is a bag purchase. And you can see here that I already have my Kelly Poche on standby. So you can kind of like think of a comparison video. So this is gonna be the review, the main review, the main character for today. So let me remove the ribbon. I'm so lucky to actually be able to score this in the color that I wanted. I actually wanted something. I was looking at the resale market for something um, that is brand new um, in a good price that the markups are not that high. So I was really, really lucky that when I'm searching for it and I almost set up for a rose pro prey one, I got this one. So let's open it up. It's very obvious from the box. You can see what it is. So the hair booklet, the dust bag, mm, smells really good. Tada! May I present the Kelly card? This is the Kelly card in um the classic black color and I'm really really surprised I actually got this at a great deal and brand new completely brand new because I'm so skeptical like on back that I used before things like that that's just me and I always pay a premium for the things that I want to have brand new so this is the one with palladium hardware so it's a little bit different from my Kelly Pochette which is actually the gold hardware and let's open to see the inside of the bag So I'm so happy to actually score this this one because this is really a very very formal color and um, it's, it's perfect if you're joining like some formal dinner etc. So here is the thing. These are the two um, like short comparison video. So you can see on the side, the pole shade actually has a weave towards it and well the Kelly card doesn't have a very huge weave. Um, the thickness so and you can also see that 
the Kelly Poche is slightly taller than the Kelly Cut. So if I can give you the measurement, the Kelly Cut is actually 31 centimeter long by 13 centimeter tall and 2.5 centimeter wide. And for the Kelly Poche is 22 centimeter long, 14 centimeter height and 7 centimeter wide. So um, it really depends on individual. So actually, I have been trying a lot of Kelly card um, in the reseller market and things like that. And it really doesn't look good on me because I'm very, very petite and all those things. So when I carry it, all of my friends just say that it doesn't look nice on me because it looks too wide at 31 centimeter long, too wide on my body. But I don't care. I just want to have something in the cut version. So that's why I'm still very happy that I got this at, at, at a like good price even though it's still more expensive than the boutique price but some definitely something worth getting at this rate and if i even present it on me so one thing to note about the kelly cut because this is 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 very long so in terms of when you want to leave your this part hanging down it's more obvious than the kelly shade. So you can see that the Kelly Pochette, if, even if you leave this single style, it's pretty okay as compared to the Kelly card. It's very, very sick. And this is the Kelly card. I think the Kelly card would looks very, very good on people who are taller, has bigger build, or things like that. It looks perfect on them. But on Petite Lady, I think you might need to like enhance yourself with like a jacket or things like that to make the the Kelly cut look better on, it, on, on you but regardless let me show you what you can fit in the back that I always do okay let me share what you can fit in I always bring the same kind of thing out so for one differences for the Kelly cart um the 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 this was this this sweet pocket at the front compared to the Kelly pochet the slip pocket is actually at the back. For Kelly card is at the front, Kelly pochet is, is at the back. So the things that I fit in a Kelly pochet, you know, I have previously done a detailed review. You can go and check it out. It's actually um, on the YouTube channel as well. So number one, the Bint mi um, mini wallet from MS as well. This one is really stuffed to the max. You can see how thick it is. So, I believe if this can go in to the Kelly card, my secret box can go in as well. So, let's just check it out. Yeah, no problem, it can go in. But I'm sure it's a little bit stretchy because it's thick. It's quite thick. And then, my secret box. And then, a packet of tissue paper. And two... Two donga my basia where i put my earpiece inside a lip balm and a lighter and on the inside you can see that they are spread out nicely and i'm gonna close it everything is inside perfectly it sits perfectly uh, but you can i can actually feel that um i mean it's not cans up fat fed up like that but uh i definitely know that if i continue using um with the same amount of things inside um there will definitely be like you know like a string bulging out here because it's fat. i mean you can check out other youtube review of use wand um you can definitely see like um there are some lines here of usage because this bag is really a very very flat a very flat bag but i mean um it's a nice bag definitely for this too and it's black color it's a color that i really really like from ms that it really like you know for black etain etop all these neutral colors and the classic black color is always fetching like super super high price super premium price in the resale market so i'm really really happy to actually score this one at a pretty good premium 
So you can take a look at the inside. So when I open it, because it actually has a bigger opening, it's easier to fetch things out. It's easier to check things out as well. It's like it's easy for me to take things in and out, as compared to the Cali Pro Shade. So, so I mean, both are both are equally small. Both are equally fine. It's just that it depends on individual needs and wants and what you carry in. I do read reviews that. There are some people who actually have to carry their glasses, sunglasses out and they much prefer having a Cali card instead of a caliper shade. I know the more petite lady would prefer the caliper shade by myself um, and the Cali card. I haven't used it before so I couldn't com comment much on it. The caliper shade I have used it many times and I can only say that I love it. Love it, love it, love it so much. And one thing to note is that for the caliper shade, it is able to stand out on its own because it has a weave at the bottom. And for the Cali card, it can never stand on its own. You always have to put it flat down or, or that it is leaning against another body, another object. So this is the difference between the two in terms of their buttons as well as their weave and as well as um, the, the length of it. Yeah, and I didn't actually get a trillion for this um, Cali card because I would think that it's it's gonna look very weird if I use it the same way as how I use my caliper shade. Um, the caliper shade with the trillion looks good. Um, looks good. Like for example, I can do it like that. I can wear it like like a mini bag. But for the Cali card, imagine if I get a trillion, it's gonna look weird at this angle. It's, it's too it's too long. The size is too long on on my body, I think. But still, nevertheless, it's a great bag. It's really very... I, I actually think that the Cali card looks more presentable and more formal for for a day to night evening, evening bag. If you go to work, you know, with this. And you can go to a formal dinner with this too. It really looks good. I think the colors plays a part too because, you know, the black definitely looks more formal than the Verberond here. Yeah, correct. I hope this review actually helps whoever is considering between the Cali card and the Cali Pro Shade. You will never go wrong with either one. But of course, it will be good if you can have the two of them together and even more in your collection. So please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much for watching Channel B. Bye-bye.